With Prime Day coming up on June 21st and 22nd, Amazon has really ramped up the new product releases with the Echo Show 5 and even an Echo Show 5 Kids Edition with a slightly improved 2 megapixel camera. They also released the Echo Show 8, the second generation, with a 13 megapixel camera on board, so that's a massive upgrade, plus new faster processor and better speakers. The Echo Bud second generation came out. The Echo Frames now have a sunglass and a blue light filtering option. Plus there are a ton of new Fire tablets including the new Fire Kids HD Pro for that kind of middle range of kids. Your Echo Dot can go full baby Yoda and even a new Amazon Smart Plug with exactly the same specifications was released. There have been new Fire TVs, full TVs come out from Toshiba and even new Fire TV soundbars. And if we go back a little bit, the Echo Show 10 came out alongside all of the Echo fourth generation devices. But all of these will seem very small later this year when we see the Echo Show 15 come out. Hello Automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and yes, I just broke news on an Echo Show 15 inch smart display. I don't know what format this is gonna look like, but it was confirmed to me from someone from Amazon. They're not trying to hide it and they just don't give out any pictures. So I can't show you anything about it today, but later this year, you should see a 15 inch version. If that kind of news wasn't enough for you, well then today's video sponsor, SwitchBot, is also allowing me to launch a product right here and now. We've talked before about the motion sensor and the contact sensor. Those devices will use BLE, connect to the SwitchBot hubs that you already have in your home and add that security perspective to the whole platform. I'm really excited for the long battery life and it looks like the specifications on these devices are every bit as good as any other motion or contact sensor you have. But no security system is complete without a security camera and that is exactly what SwitchBot is bringing to their platform with the new indoor camera. It features 1080p HD video, night vision with a 6 IR LED array, a 130 degree wide angle lens, two-way communication, and the ability to detect both motion and people separately. All of this with Miss A integration, so you'll be able to show it on your Echo Shows, plus both local and cloud recording storage options. All three of those new products are going to be available on June 21st for Prime Day, and I have some insight into their deals for Prime Day. I gotta say, it's very excellent. You'll see that coming on the channel on June 19th. And if all of those products weren't enough, well, I still have all the new features to tell you about. And the first feature is based on an application that you probably already have on your smartphone if you've been automating for a while. That application is called Tasker, but there's a new capability with the other application you'll need called Auto Voice that allows you to integrate with Miss A. The value of this to you is that you can take any event occurring on your smartphone and turn it into a smart home automation. All of this happens very seamlessly and it's incredibly powerful. So let's go through the full setup. Okay. We're going to need three different applications. The Miss A application, which you should have, Tasker, and uh, an application called Auto Voice. All three of these are needed to do what I'm about to show you. I've done a clean install of all of these just to make sure that we get all the prompts and all the things that you're going to have to go through. And there are a lot of different uh, prompts that you're going to get a lot of different requests for permissions that you're going to get as you roll through Tasker and Auto Voice. The first thing that we have to start with now that we've installed both of these is a task. And you can create a task by going to the tab and then hitting the plus button. Call this task whatever you'd like it to be called. I'm gonna call it the Auto Voice task here initially and hit the check mark. You can see right away, I got the ability to silence notifications like these. 
The next thing we need to do is to add an action to this task. You could add multiple of these in and then it would execute multiple things. But what you're going to do is search for your favorite voice assistant and hit that. And now we have to configure this portion of it. So I'm going to hit that little uh, edit button there. I can't figure out the name of it, but I'm gonna hit agree. And again, there's a lot of things that are going to pop up. This is important. This is your Google account that you're going to connect to both auto voice and inside of the Miss A application in a moment. So choose your Google account and then what it does is it takes you right to the skill page inside of the Miss A application. So you can see this is actually the Amazon application. You've got to hit enable on this and again you're going to choose that same Google account. It didn't bring that up for me because I've done this before but it'll bring up that same list of Google accounts. Go ahead and connect the exact same one you did in auto voice. You don't need to discover devices right now so just hit cancel and then let's go back into auto voice. It's going to ask you if it can run in the background. You make those kinds of decisions, okay? That's for you to do. But the next thing you wanna do is to create a new device. Whatever you name this device is what's going to show up in Amazon's voice assistant, okay? So this device would be something you could actually use your voice to trigger things on and off with. So I'm going to call this the special bulb. And I'm gonna hit okay. And I've created this device now. I'm going to hit the check mark up at the top and then you've got to do some more allowing of things. So now we have a task that has been configured inside of the tasker application. I can hit back and then I'm done this portion of the work. So we have a task now and we'll need to create a profile. The profile will link the condition or what you want to kind of trigger those tasks to run. Now, for example, you know, one of the things I do all the time is open up the WISE application to look at my cameras, but if I'm around a smart display, why not have that smart display just bring up the camera? So I've chosen the WISE beta app here. I have a beta application and I'm gonna hit the back. They're going to ask for more permissions and I've got to grant those things in order for this to work. So now I'm back in the tasker application and I've got to pick a new task. Well, I can pick my auto voice task and it will trigger the special bulb over in Amazon's voice assistant. Now, why do I keep saying that? Well, we have actually already done the work that will cause a device to show up here. So I'm going to go into all devices and let's see if we have our new special bulb here. If we don't, we have to do a discovery and I don't see it here. So let's do a discovery. Discover my devices. Starting discovery. This will take a few moments. So despite Amazon telling me they didn't find any new device, it actually is in here. And this is because I've done this routine a couple of times. Sorry, that's what happens when you're trying to film content. So you can see the new special bulb is connected via auto voice and its description says I can trigger routines with this. So that's exactly the next thing we're going to set up. I'm going to go into routines. And we're going to create a routine that will help us. So when this happens, and I'm going to choose smart home, and I gotta go find my special bulb that I just created. Here it is. Whenever it's pressed, then I'm going to add an action. Now the first action is a pretty simple one that I'm going to do. I'm gonna turn on that bulb right there. So this is my tester bulb that I use quite often. I'm going to pick that. I could pick multiple if I'd like. I'm going to set all of these different things, including making sure it's the nice 
uh, automate your life orange and then I'm going to hit next so I've added that first action that will go on but let's do something a little fancier we're opening up the wise app and let's show a camera so what I've done is in the customized action I've said show me the garage v3 that's one of my wise cams so these are the two actions I have and I want to choose a device that that is going to occur on so I'm choosing my Echo Show 8 and I'm hitting save. It's probably good practice to test that this routine is doing what you want it to do, but let's just go right over to the Wise app. Now remember, inside of Tasker, what I set up was that my Wise app being opened would trigger the auto voice task and that auto voice task was the one that is pressing that special bulb. Now here's where we have a couple of things we need to deal with. We have to have this permission turned on. So I'm going to turn on auto voice and allow that to happen. And I'm just going to make sure Tasker has that same opportunity while I'm here. There's one other component of auto voice that we need to deal with. So I've got, again, a number of permissions that I have to allow, but here's the other component. You have to decide whether you want to get the full version, use for free, or start a trial. This gives me 24 hours when I watch an ad, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so now I have the use for free for 24 hours. We've done everything we should need, and the next time I open up that Wise app, it should trigger our routine. When you think about that capability of triggering automations with almost anything from your smartphone, and then you combine it with all the new features we've gotten from Amazon for starting routines, it's getting pretty powerful. The new sound detection triggers, which is in beta and will only work if you have an echo speaker in the area, is very useful for things like detecting babies crying, which as a parent I know is so useful to get that kind of a notification and maybe bring up a camera automatically. On top of that, if you're an annoyed spouse, go ahead and trigger a routine to slap your husband or your wife around when they're snoring or coughing at night. Speaking of your spouse and getting them to do things, well, if you're a couple that likes to share your shopping list, it has become really easy within the Miss A application. And you could do it inside of the lists function. You can share that with anyone really, but you can also use the smart displays to send out the shopping list through Amazon's communication method. So they have to have that set up before you can send them that shopping list, but then they're going to be able to add things to the list. Send my shopping list. Who do you want to send it to? Brett Bristow. Okay. Automate. I try not to be too clickbaity with my thumbnails and my titles here on YouTube, but the internet was absolutely alight or lit up with different companies and different websites saying Amazon's sharing your internet with your neighbors and this is a big privacy concern and I'm not going to talk about all of those details today. I have that in a video you can check up there right now if you want to watch where I explain what Amazon Sidewalk is. But some of the bigger news around that service is the devices outside of the Echo devices and Ring devices that you'll have in your home that will work with this system. So Tile was announced a little while ago, but Level Locks have been announced to be able to work in conjunction with Ring. Earlier in the video, during the Tasker component, I was showing a Wisecam V3 displaying here, but your Wisecam V2 should now have the WebRTC streaming format available on them, which should eliminate lag and give you faster responses on here. It's also supposed to eliminate the 10 minute limit on stream for Wisecams in general. That goes across Google and Amazon devices at this point. 
Let me walk you through some of the new ways to get a little bit of extra help from Amazon's voice assistant. There's a number of new skills and a number of new requests that you can make. Give me self-care tips. Sure thing. I've got tips for easy self-care routines, plus some items from Amazon that can help you feel your best each day. Here's my first tip. Try getting some sunlight as soon as you get out of bed. Give me Father's Day gift ideas. Whether you're shopping for your own dad or someone who is like a dad to you, I've got ideas to help him feel special. A new gadget might be the perfect gift. Open HBO Max recommends. Here's the skill HBO Max recommends. Welcome to... You can filter your recommendations by genre, like comedy and by... Great choice. As I go through each recommendation, you can say yes. Are you interested in... No worries. <laughs> I should have said yes to that. Care to retire to your quarters with no. a... No. Can Can't win them all. Open Bamboo Learning. Okay, here's Bamboo Learning. Welcome to Bamboo Learning. I'm Panda. I am so excited to go on a learning adventure with you. In the word, side, is the first letter, H? No. Play Jeopardy. This is Jeopardy. And now, here is your host, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny, and welcome, players. The first category is Frederick Law Olmsted. Olmsted designed Ooh. the grand necklace of parks for this Wisconsin city. That's home to baseball's brewers. Milwaukee. Please respond in the form of a question, oh. starting with phrases <laughs> like, who is or what is. Amazon quietly snuck in the fact that they have partnered with Ford and will get their voice assistant into millions of vehicles in North America. And that follows on the heels of partnerships that we saw with Amazon and other car makers that I talked about in our very last video. The other partnership that they really expanded was with Lenovo and their Windows 10 laptops and devices. And, you know, I had a fairly bad experience with a tablet here that was in a dock that was from Lenovo but a lot of the problems there were based on RAM and the operating system so I'm a little bit more interested to see the new Echo Show mode expanded out to all of these Lenovo yoga pads and idea pads that they have. Early on in the video, we talked about a ton of new products coming out from Amazon and the smart home industry has taken off. If you want more details on those products, you can check out the video that's up on screen right now. It's all the best new gadgets here in 2021. Go check that out. Otherwise, thanks for watching today. And of course, don't hate, automate.